What is up, you horn nerds? It is me, your host once again, Jeremiah Duncan. Welcome back to the channel. Today's review was a surprise. Um, so honestly, I didn't expect much out of this film, but it surprised me, and I think it's worth the watch, to be honest with you. I'm talking about the 2017 release of Bone Jangles. So yes, Bone Jangles. As you see, I purchased this, and I thought... When bones bat rattle, blood will flow. This looks ridiculous, but I'm going to buy it because that's what I do. And I can't help myself. It was released in 2017. It's not rated. Runs for an hour and 18 minutes. But it's decent. I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. I think you should watch it. Um, it's a fun movie. It's, um, it's, it's actually a joy to watch, especially once you know what you're getting into. I had no idea, didn't know what to expect. Here's what I read, and here's what the movie's about, if you haven't heard of it. One hell of a crazy ride, this throwback, this is throwback horror done right. Fight the curse with something worse. While transporting legendary serial killer Bone Jangles to an asylum, a group of police officers break down in a town cursed with demons and zombies. The only way they can survive the night and save the town is to release Bone Jangles to help them fight, fight off this ancient supernatural threat. So again... Just like the back says, there's a lot going on in this. You have the serial killer, Bone Jangles. He's nuts, but you have a feeling he's bigger than life. He's more than just a human. He's kind of like a Michael Myers type. There's some supernatural abilities within him that he can't die. And he's just, you're getting those vibes. You learn about this cop that's part of the transport. He doesn't want to go through this town because he grew up in it. He knows about the zombies. He knows about these things coming back to life during their transport so you kind of have a lot going on but oddly enough it works um some of this stuff is off of its rocker like the stuff that's going on again i thought this was going to be a serious movie it's not it's a comedy it's fun it's hilarious and i enjoyed the crap out of it great comedy again five out of ten it's going to make you laugh um it just kept the kind of kept going back and forth um but overall it was an all right b movie you know like i was kind of like i don't know about this but again i think it was because i was not expecting it to be a comedy but the costume and mask of bone jangles he looks freaking rad he looks super cool great villain they did awesome and there's a scene that is so freaking funny that just keeps popping up. The reason he's killing people is because his dad kept telling him to not touch his wee-wee. Don't touch your wee-wee. Don't touch it. Girls will be make you mad and all this. And then he's just like killing people because his dad told him not to touch his wee-wee. And I, the first time he said that, I'm like, did I just hear that correctly? It is so freaking funny. All right. It does feature uh, Reggie uh, Bannister who actually is his dad, that was in the Phanta um, Phantasm franchise. He does great in it. And they do a little nod to um, Dario Argento by having the town where they stopped in is called Argento, which is pretty cool to pay homage to the Godfathers of Horror. So Bone Jangles, I think you should watch it. It's, again, going into it knowing it's a comedy. You're going to have fun. I'm giving it a 5 out of 10. 2017, not rated. If you've seen it, comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like, subscribe, hit the death bell for notifications. Hit me with some more uh, comedy ones. These are fun. Put them in the comments below. I appreciate y'all. Stick around.